Do you struggle trying to remove heavy deposition from your critical chamber? Would you like to learn how you can achieve results like this without ever having to resort to scotch Bright again? First, let's take a look at why you should never use scotch Bright in a critical chamber. Traditional abrasives such as scotch Bright that have been used in vacuum maintenance procedures generate large amounts of metal containing fibers that are difficult to remove from chambers. To enhance PM procedures, Foamtech International has developed an industry-leading diamond scrub pad that removes hardened processed residue with minimum particle generation and very low salt and metal content. Foamtech International offers a wide variety of chamber cleaning kits, conveniently providing all the necessary components to safely clean your critical chamber. Begin by staging a small container of deionized water near the chamber that you will be cleaning. Dip the Ultrasolve sponge and the diamond scrub pad or scrub disc into the DI water to lightly wet them. Make sure to wring the excess DI water from the Ultrasolve sponge. It only needs to be moist, not dripping. Start by taking the dampened Ultrasolve sponge and wiping down the surface to be scrubbed. This will help remove any loose deposition. Begin scrubbing a small area with the diamond scrub pad or scrub disc. Continue to scrub the area until you have loosened most of the deposition. Then use your Ultrasolve sponge to wipe the surface clean. Before you return to scrubbing a different portion of the surface, unload the deposition from the scrub disc or scrub pad by dragging it across the Ultrasolve sponge. Rinse the diamond scrub pad or scrub disc in the bucket of deionized water and begin to scrub a different portion. Repeat this process of scrubbing with the diamond scrub pad or scrub disc, unloading deposition onto the Ultrasolve sponge, and rinsing with DI water as necessary until your surface has been cleaned of all process residue. As the Ultrasolve sponge begins to load up with deposition, be sure to rinse it out in the container of DI water. For corners and hard to reach areas, Foamtech International offers a wide variety of diamond grit scrub belts for use in combination with our scrub right pen. Attach the scrub belt to the scrub right pen by wrapping the belt around the pen and squeezing the spring. When using the scrub right pen, use the same process as seen before. Scrub with the pen, wipe the surface with the Ultrasolve sponge, Unload the deposition from the pen onto the sponge and rinse the pen off in the DI water. Before continuing on to the final white portion, it is good practice to replace your gloves. Remove a single mirror wipe from the bag, fold it into quarters, and saturate it with isopropyl alcohol. Due to the tight weave of the microfiber, it may be necessary to work the liquid into the wiper by squeezing it. Proceed to perform the final wipe on the chamber. Be sure to turn and refold the mirror wipe as necessary in order to expose an unused surface of the wiper. Use a mirror swab to clean out corners, grooves, and other hard to reach areas. Begin by saturating the mirror swabs with isopropyl alcohol. The microfiber material of the mirror swabs will remove more contaminants from hard to reach areas, including o ring grooves. Foamtech International offers a wide variety of microfiber swabs for all the hard to reach places in your critical chambers.
Using the process we've just shown you, you too can effectively clean your critical chambers in a safe and timely manner.